Are you starting up VirtualBox and getting this error? I'll show you how to fix that with a couple commands. So let's take a look. So if you have an error message, like the one I'm about to show you, you select your virtual machine and then you click on start. Okay, and you get an error message like this and in the details, you get the e fail and then a result code and the component is called console wrap. Okay, so with this error message, what that means is that the hypervisor is set to auto and we wanna turn it off and I'll show you how to do that. So we'll click on okay to the error message and we're gonna just, I'll just open up notepad right now and I'll show you the command that we're gonna be running. And it's bcd edit space slash set and then you have hypervisor launch type as off. Okay, so this is the command that we're gonna be running and we're gonna be running this in the command prompt. So you can just go ahead and go to your start menu, type in CMD in the command prompt open here. And what you wanna do is run this administrator. So right click on it and select run as administrator. Say yes to the prompt. And then we have our command prompt open and we're gonna copy this line. Right click and copy on it, select the command prompt and then we're gonna right click in the window. There you go, right click on the window and it pops up here. And then you just have to hit enter and the operation was completed successfully. So you can go ahead and close this. And now what you need to do in order for this to update properly is shut everything down, close out of here, and shut down the VirtualBox Manager, and we're gonna go ahead and restart our computer. So we'll go to the Start menu, and we're just gonna do a restart, and we'll load it back up and test it out and see what happens. All right, so we're back here. I'm gonna go ahead and log. So I'm gonna go ahead and log back in here. We're back at the desktop. I'm gonna now launch my VirtualBox Manager. And we're at the dashboard. I'm gonna select the Mac OS 13. This is the one I had an issue with, but it might happen with any virtual machine. So once you have it selected, go ahead and click on Start and we'll watch it launch. Okay, there you go. So now it's loading up without the error message and that's how you solve the issue. So if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you thought this was useful, please smash that like button. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.